bring this uh, regular council meeting to order for April the 6th, 2021. <clears throat> Resolve that the amended agenda for April the 6th, 2021 regular meeting of council be adopted. Moved by Deputy Mayor with Tony, seconded by Councilor White. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carry. Oops. Uh, Sorry, I just have one thing to add to the in-camera session. Sorry. Okay. I missed that uh, to do it sooner. Just have a personnel. Okay. Personnel. Comment. Yeah. Thank you. So tonight by video we have Councillor Morio, uh, Councillor Friesen is, is unable to attend tonight, and then we have Chief Bedorchuk, CFO Ganita, and also with us from Recreation. Mr. Brendan for our chat by video. <clears throat> Result the minutes of the March 16, 2021 regular council meeting be approved. Moved by Dr. Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councilor Morio. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Mr. Poole and me live on Facebook by any chance. Did it work? Moving down to uh, communications, 6.1, uh, we have Babcock Canada Incorporated uh, letter. Any comments on that? Uh, I just want to compliment uh, Mr. Poole for being proactive and reaching out to them and saying, hey, would you like to, to bring your planes here? They buy our gas, uh, they buy the food in our community, and appreciate that, Mr. Poole. Yeah, I echo that too. Okay, <clears throat> moving on to 6.2. Resolve that the building permits 1021 through 1221 with a total estimated value of $67,000. Be received. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, second by Councillor Delorier. Discussion? Did you have a question? Councillor Delorier? Okay. All in favor? Opposed? Carry. I can't see Councillor uh, Memorial right now. Well, you're just going on yeah, now. Maybe we yeah. should give Mr. Poole just, we'll just one second. We'll give it a second here while we need to uh, get on here. <clears throat> We've been having some issues with uh, getting online with Facebook. And I guess personally, I like the uh, Mr. Bergen's because you can see everybody the audio is way better we pay for it and it's on the website people can find it so I, I guess personally I like that I didn't mean to put you on the spot either I'm sorry no no it's fine I just don't know if it'll work or not with the um, item on the okay, just waiting for this to go live for us right now. Um, the Babcock uh, Canada Incorporated, did they say a timeline when they might be coming up here then? No. no. I would imagine that's probably going to be in a few weeks. I'm guessing, you know, fire season will probably be right away. They're in. Sorry, that's off topic. There's currently a big forest fire somewhere, right? In Manitoba? Southern Manitoba. Southern Manitoba. It'll let me know once you're Everything's on. covered in white in the north. Okay. Oh, we're live then? No, we're not. It's preparing, but it'll let us okay. know if it does with you. Okay, then we can uh, continue on then. <clears throat> uh, we left off on 6.2, 7.1. Result of the Director of Public Works report be received. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? Councilor Morio. 
Um, just a one quick question under the utility engineering. What is an exylum pump? Xylem. Uh, xylem pump. Those are in the lift stations, and uh, they pump the wastewater out of the wet cell through the force main into the next catchment. And then we have a set at the Ross Street lift station that pump them out to the lagoon. So they're the pumps. Perfect. That's all I need to know. Councillor White. Uh, for your sake, Mr. Morrill, the term comes from a, a plant vascular, a conducting tissue in plants that bring water from the ground to the top of the plant. So they've extrapolated that and put it into pipes, apparently. That's the brand name of the pump, yeah. Yep. That's right. Thank you, Councillor White, for your, uh, your addition to that. <clears throat> Sarcasm. It resolved that the January 2021 Swan River Handy Transit Van report be received. Moved by Councilor Morio. Are we going to vote on the uh, last one? I guess I didn't ask that question, did I? Okay. Uh, sorry, on the building applications. Thank you, Councillor uh, Morio. On the building applications, uh, we had mover and a seconder. Any more discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Councillor White must have threw me off there a little bit. <clears throat> um, Result that the Director of Public Works report be received. Was moved by Councillor White, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Result of the January 2021 Handy Transit Van report be received. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councillor White. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 7.3. Reports. I'll start with Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Uh, Your Worship, I think we missed his, the, the CEO's report. Or am I missing? No, it's next. CEO report? It says Council Hands. Oh, you're at we're after. Uh, so yeah. okay. yep. uh, thank you. Thank you. Carry on. All right. Um, just a couple of items. Um, in terms of meetings, I don't recall. I don't have any written in my notes at the moment. Um, one thing I will urge council and administration to bring forward is the shopping bylaw. I don't think that we ever did pass that. I know that it was brought to the table with our previous CAO, but it was not. It wasn't voted on. It was tabled, and it was never brought back. So. I would encourage us to get that moving. I know that um, over the weekend we would have had a few people not in compliance with our current bylaw, but it would have been compliant with the provincial bylaw. I think that we have a discussion about that where we said that the provincial uh, legislation overrides ours anyways. Is it, did we not have that conversation that we would leave it to the provincial? Look into the notes. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember that, so I just did, would encourage us to to look at that. Okay. Um, budget, we are going to discuss later in, in camera. Um, one item that we do have on here that um, I, w I think that perhaps we should move into camera um, is the rise payment. I just have some comments on that and then we can vote on it afterwards, but I do have some comments on that. And then a question to Mr. Darren Fedorchuk for um, an update on the apartment block on 5th fifth, fifth, fifth Avenue. Can you share any information with that and the latest that we have heard? Uh, to my knowledge, that process is tied up in litigation, not involving the town. 
so I'm not too sure how much I could share uh, unless we go on camera. Okay. Is that something that we could talk about in camera, Your Worship? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> that is all I have. It was a series of questions today, not uh, not a lot to report. Okay. So 8.1 will be uh, moved to when we come out of camera. 8.1? Okay. 8.1. Okay. Uh, Councilor White. Uh, not that much either. Uh, uh, meeting with uh, your worship and Minister uh, Councilor Morio and uh, Councilor Delorier, uh, looking at the, drawing up a proposal for incentives to attract nurses to our community, in addition to the medical doctor. So I want to compliment uh, Mr. Morio, Councilor Morio, for doing a lot of the legwork and the paperwork and typing. It looks uh, pretty thorough, and I believe the, your worship, you might be taking that soon to the hospital foundation. Thank you. Uh, I met with PMH today again, and uh, obviously there are some supply issues and some vaccine issues, but I, I don't know that I can say it enough that we have to wash, we have to wear a mask, we have to keep our six feet distance. This thing isn't going away soon, so uh, I think we might be getting uh, too complacent, so I encourage people to do that. The pop-up clinics, uh, some of them actually put on hold for a week or so now because of availability of vaccines, specifically the Moderna one. I met uh, with Minister Wojcik. He had just recently met with uh, Minister Stevenson, Stephenson, the Minister of Health, and the CT scanner is high on their list still. But uh, I remain optimistic. Uh, but by point of just sowing a seed, perfect choice of words, grass versus flowers. I posted something about a lot of areas and other communities are putting flowers where they used to have grass, flowers that only grow two inches high. Great for honeybees, pollinators, which, which without which we're dead, and uh, it's resonating fairly well with the community, getting a lot of likes about that. So I throw that seed out to the CAO and his team to maybe do a little. Well, you'll never have to consider the possibility of some more townlands to plant flowers instead of grass. And I'm thinking of all the money we would save not having to mow all that grass. So uh, it, it certainly is done in some communities. Uh, the Rick Department posts about the things you can do in our community. They're just awesome. A lot of things that whoever's who, are you posting that, Mr. Poole? The Rick, or is that Mr. Fedorchuk Jr.? Sorry, which? There's Rick Department things you can do at an evening, blah, blah. Like uh, the programming? Yeah. Yeah, that will be posted. Okay, that's, that's wonderful stuff. Uh, I've talked to the RCMP today, yesterday, and we hope to get together this week or next week relative to the concerns of council and how to work uh, to help the RCMP and help ourselves try to reduce crime somehow. So we're talking. Uh, there's some is interesting issues with the COVID. People have to get some of their staff fingerprinted before they can get jobs. You have to have a fingerprint of criminal records. At the moment, as I understand it, they're not being able to go into the police station to get the fingerprints. So you can't hire the guy because he hasn't had the fingerprint. So uh, Sergeant Henson and I will be talking about that also. Uh, I want to compliment Mr. Peewish uh, on our street, 12th North, there's uh, a lot of cats. And uh, Mr. Peewish has been going around talking to people, sending out letters to individuals, asking them to be proactive in keeping those animals inside. And I love cats, but they're creating some problem for some people. I went to the uh, garbage up today, and I really want to compliment the team out there. The road up to the, the way station is spotless. There's not a piece of paper on the ground, and uh, they're looking after that so well. I didn't go inside, but it's usually pretty good. So if you're talking to that team, please thank them f for myself and council. So uh, that's about it, Your Worship. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> thank you, Council uh, Council Morio. Um, not a whole lot for me. Just uh, our committee of the whole meeting last week and a follow-up uh, meeting with uh, budget um, deliberations on Thursday. Um, other than that, uh, not a whole lot. Okay. Uh, Councillor Delorier. Uh, other than meetings that have already been touched on, I had uh, a library board meeting last Wednesday, I think it was. Um, it happened to be the last board meeting of our chair, Mr. John Thorpe. So I want to thank him for his uh, years of service to the community. He was the town of Swan Rivers, uh, one of their community representatives. So. Um, thank him very much for his service. 
we also uh, passed our library budget uh, at that meeting. I'm not sure if Mr. Ganina received a copy yet or not, but it should be on its way shortly. Uh, the town share will, will have gone up uh, just on about $680 from last year. So that's uh, all I have to report. Okay. Uh, for me, uh, not very much of them. We talked about budget meetings and uh, getting close to the end of uh, what that uh, draft document will look like. We'll be prepared for that within probably the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm also uh, been working with uh, um, Councilor White and Councilor Morio, like was mentioned, about the, the doctor recruitment and also the nurse recruitment and, uh, and so forth. We um, we were to meet with uh, the foundation last night, but actually the meeting was canceled because we didn't realize we had booked it for Easter Monday. So we have some new people that are uh, getting on that board because we had some uh, some turnover, but uh, we're hoping to meet maybe in the next couple of weeks. So just so you get all that as well. So, so moving on, uh, I guess we have the CAO report. If there's anything there that uh, any questions or if you want to comment on anything there that uh, Mr. Poole. No, if there's no questions, uh, I guess I just wanted to mention the, the CAO's meetings. The first, I don't know if it's happened in the past, but uh, uh, the CAO's of Swan Valley West, Minnetonas, Bozeman, Mountain, and Town of Swan River getting together uh, on scheduled meetings just to discuss uh, regulations, uh, things like that. And this one, this first meeting, was a lot about objectives and our goals, but it's a really good way to share information. I think it's going to be a Positive meeting for the municipalities. On that, I guess uh, I, I am looking for direction on what, what's to be discussed at our next G4 meeting. I know we we had talked about setting a time and letting everybody know, but uh, I guess we'll we'll take a look at the third wave, see how that goes. Or well, what did we find out about hosting that meeting? Because I was told by another administrator that we were not to be holding those meetings. Well, if we're if it's if it's related to municipal operations, it's it's really up to us. Do we want to go against the rules? Because we can, because we're exempt. Or uh, if we're following the rules, we have to, I guess I'll have to uh, let public health know and see what, what we can do in the hall, what's the maximum number we can have in that area. Right. Okay. Well, we should find that out, but definitely we need to get this uh, uh, meeting um, dealt with. Because yeah. there are some issues that are pending. And just awaiting some responses from, uh, you know, regarding union negotiations and Northwest Meeting Council for meetings with those committees. Okay. Council Morio. Uh, Derek, just a question, or is this like a typo in there? Um, you're referring back to Director of Public Works. Are you referring to the Superintendent of Public Works, or are we going through a name change again? Mm. Oh, is, you mean that's the, uh, on the first page, Assisting Director of Public Works? Yeah, and I also noticed that you used that terminology in the uh, um, salary grid too. Yeah, that is the name of the, the position or the formal name is the Director of Public Works. Yep, that has not changed. Yeah, right, never mind, I'm thinking backwards. Okay. My apologies. Councillor White. Uh, just a, I really like the concept, Mr. Poole, of getting the CEOs from all our, our partners together as often as you do. Talk about common uh, concerns, common accolades, I hope, and learning to work together as a team because we are one big team. It's Valley, and kudos to you, sir. I'm sure you've made that happen. Uh, but I was more collaborative. We all thought it was a really good idea. Okay. <laughs> I, I agree with that, and I think that it's important because then it will help for you to meet with them so each of us kind of could take, or you can bring that forward, what we're thinking, and then share that with them, and, and I think that would probably help in the long term, especially when we're meeting as a whole in the group, when they've been already kind of warned already, or we're warned that what what's you know uh, being discussed or being thought of at the council level. So. That's the exact idea is along with, like I say, sharing regulations. There's a lot of experience around the table there, so 
you know, a lot of people have different experience to, to, to deal with the province on regulations, that's going to be a huge help. And then seeing if we can collaborate on on requirements like the asset management, is there, is there a way all the four of us can get together and get this done for everybody who are researching things like that? Good, yeah. Good to hear. <clears throat> okay, if that's nothing else further there, then we'll move on to 8.1. Um, I guess my question, um, Councilman Doria, do you have somebody to be appointed or do you want to make some comments? No, I guess I asked for that to be on the agenda because I don't know if we have a uh, a formal procedure on how we make appointments. Um, you know, I, I know uh, I spoke, spoke with Councillor Friesen uh, and she gave me a list of suggestions that she had, but I don't know if we want to advertise to see if there's anybody interested or if, or if we just pick a you know a patron that seems very interested for the for the position. That I think that's how it's been done in the past, but but I, I guess I just bring it forward because how it's been done in the past doesn't necessarily mean that's how we have to do it. So. So I don't know if we uh, want to advertise for such a thing, or if we just want to pick somebody and then I can come with a recommendation, um, or, or how do how do we want to go about this? In, in the past, we never advertised for it. We always, you know, put it out there, you know, as individuals, counselors, and then you know, I had a list perhaps of and, uh, mm -hmm. those individuals, and then made a recommendation of who that uh, candidate might yeah. be. So. If I guess we'll open that up to any discussion here right now. Anybody? Go ahead. Social media is always the least expensive option to put something out. Um, perhaps we can run something on social media. And then, I mean, there's six of us, seven of us that um, can spread the word too, right? Yeah. Uh, I think that might hold a lot of or an advertisement, but social media is a, a very inexpensive way to get some feelers out there anyway. Okay, well, and I guess, uh, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, so I'd probably write up a little blurb. I could send it to Mr. Poole, and he could post it on, get it posted on our Facebook, and we can all share it and <laughs> see, what, uh, see what comes forward then. And I, anybody that's watching here tonight, too, is uh, might be interested in, in this post or any other post that we're looking for a citizen rep, they can put their name forward to any of us and, uh, and they can be, you know, uh, held to, until there's a vacancy and or into this vacancy. So, absolutely. Did you, did you make a motion to the table or? Yeah, I don't know if we needed a, a residence. We didn't, we didn't have a move or a second or anything. Oh, that's so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's great. Okay, so but I will. that should be moved, I think, to the next agenda anyway, just to uh, maybe we will have somebody by the next Hopefully. council meeting. Okay, so uh, 8.2. <clears throat> Whereas June has been declared PTSD Aware Month, Awareness Month each year around the world, and whereas for centuries we have recognizing post traumatic stress disorder, and whereas PTSD can affect all children, all, sorry, all ages, children through seniors. And whereas the treatment for PTSD is available, and whereas it is up to each of us to know that PTSD assessment form is a major tool to seek medical assistance. And whereas PTSD Awareness Month urges all to seek help for those who may have PTSD requiring medical assistance. And now, therefore, the Town of Swan River duty hereby proclaim June as PTSD Awareness Month in our town and encourage the residents of the Swan River to actively learn about PTSD assessment form written by the Center for PTSD Research as a tool to assist those affected by PTSD to obtain medical assistance. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. We'll put something like a, uh, something on our Facebook and can reference that as well. We can, yeah. That was a request, so I'll be uh, our name will be mentioned. Okay. Eight point three: Result of the salary management policy be accepted and approved as per Schedule A. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, second by Councilor Morial. Discussion. 
All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 8.4. Result that the 2021 fees be scheduled for, oh sorry, be received and approved. Moved by Councilor Gloria, second by Councilor White. Discussion? This has been kind of an ongoing thing here for the last little while. All in favor? Oh, sorry, Councilor Memorial. Uh, just a quick uh, question, Mr. Poole. Under the landfill uh, wastes uh, for the minimum charge, I believe you had mentioned it once before, but what was the reasoning behind uh, uh, going from $5 to $10? Well, mostly mostly to raise our revenues. We, we, have, we, have, we are nowhere near uh, like the... the why we put in the scale is eventually there was discussion where we wanted the users to pay for for that service uh we're nowhere near that we would have to increase these uh quite a bit more to get there and if we want to use market competitiveness what other municipalities do i know i don't really like doing that but uh ten dollars is still on the on the small side of what other municipalities pay these landfill uh i believe it's time Okay, thanks. Yeah, I just see that, and then I also see like uh, there's other ones that actually have gone down in value. So, thank you. Yeah. For the discussion, all in favor? Opposed? Carried. Eight point five. Resolved the uh, resignation of Mr. David Gray from the Town of Swimmer Council be received and accepted. Moved by Councilor Delorier, seconded by Dipper Mayor and Tony. Discussion, Councilor Delorier. I guess I just want to uh, say I won't move this with regret. Um, I was saddened to hear his resignation and I wish him all the best in the future. And I uh, appreciate all the, uh, everything he did for us uh, as far as the community and he was a uh, uh, valuable member on council and he will be missed. Thank you. Councillor White? I don't like to say ditto, but ditto. Uh, Councillor Gray always brought wisdom to council in different mechanisms, but he always was thoughtful and he had great plans. And I, I will miss, miss him. We didn't always agree, but he, he worked hard for our community. And that's all I can, that's good stuff. Thank you. For the discussion, Deputy Mayor Montoni. I guess I just want to add to that and, and say that it's never easy to make those decisions. Um, and <clears throat> Councillor Gray had the best, in my opinion, had the best intentions for our community, and, and um, situations perhaps came up in his realm that he needed to make the decision that was best for him. And, I wish him all the best in his future uh, obligations, and I'm sure that we'll be seeing him on the street somewhere. Okay. Councillor Morial. Uh, I, I just want to agree with uh, everything that I said around the table, and that Councillor Gray was a, a valued member of council. He uh, brought some unique thought processes to our organization and um, helped us structure some new paths moving forward where we had uh, some change coming. Um, but uh, I do wish him well, and I imagine it was a difficult decision, but uh, each in their own, but uh, he'll be greatly missed, and I'll miss his debates and thoughtfulness at the meeting. So I uh, wish him well, and thank you for his uh, time on council. Okay, thank you. I guess for myself, um, in the last, you know, two and a half years, almost two and a half years of this of this term, um, you know, like every person on council that represents council, we all learn different pieces of what makes you tick and, and what your contributions are and, and how you're um, dedicated to certain things. And, and uh, Councillor Gray did bring some good things forward. It was, I think, uh, the beginning, you know, where you always kind of go through the shell shock of, of what the job is and, and learning through that process and, 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 and the desired changes. 
and I think I thought uh, that uh, some of the things that he had brought forward to introduce or, or to convince you know us to you know to change, which that, those things were happening. We've seen that already in the last two and a half years that some of them had changed. You know, as a group, we always work as a whole, and decisions are made by this council as a whole. And uh, for the most part, I, I think that he agreed with a lot of things that we were working on. And, and uh, yeah, I, I definitely have to say that he was a valuable team member. I like that word as a, as a team member, not as a, only as an individual. And he brought lots forward. So I do wish him the same, lots of luck. And, and uh, hopefully we can always um, join together and, and have conversations together, like I had in my office with him on different occasions or you know, aside from this uh, table, because at the same time we're learning to work together, but we also learn to become friends at the same time as well. And I take that uh, quite seriously, so I do wish him well. 8.6, resolve that Mayor Lance Jacobson be appointed the following committees, Chair of Parks and Recreation Committee, Shared Services Committee, Council Committee Member, the Swan Valley Regional Initiative for a Strong Economy, Council Committee Member of Northwest Regional Immigrant Services. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. This will be uh, temporary as, as we will obviously be moving forward with a by-election once we find out the details of having a safe election um, uh, through uh, uh, municipal services. We'll have to figure all that kind of stuff out. So we will be setting a by-election in the future and then once that's done we will be changing the, um, the appointments and we've been actually talking about this for the last little bit. So the appointments will be reviewed and we'll be looking at changing them in the next little giving everybody an opportunity to serve in different capacities as chair and other uh, areas that were needed in the community. Resolve that counts as follows be hereby approved for payment. General accounts checks number 27366 to number 27430 as listed on Schedule A, totaling $125,309.34. Payroll accounts checks number 4830 to 4836 as listed on Schedule B, totaling $73,762.33. Direct deposits as listed on Schedule C, totaling $650. And direct deposits for $4,457.20 as per Schedule D. Moved by Tipper Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councilor Morio, discussion. Councilor Morio. Uh, check number 27412 to the Minister of Finance, um, the Health and Education Tax Levy. Um, maybe Mr. Ganita can ex tell me what that is. I don't recall seeing that before. Okay, CFO uh, Ganita. Are uh, we. <laughs> We ha our payroll exceeds a threshold where we are required to pay the health and education tax levy. It's 4.3% of the total payroll above 1.25 million. And so that payment was what was left owing for the 2020 payroll year. Okay, thank you. Further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 10.2. Whereas the 2020 capital budget for the town of Swan River included $82,000 for incident command vehicle with telemetry, did I say that right? With $47,000 to be borne by borrowing and $35,000 to be borne by the truck, fire truck replacement reserve. And the Purchase was done at a cost of $83,139.39 and recorded in the 2020 fiscal year. And whereas the town of Swan River received $40,653.72 for an incident 
and command and storage, truck storage and supplies from the province of Manitoba under the Fire Protection Grant Program in the 2021 fiscal year. Therefore, be resolved that $40,653.72 be transferred from the general operating fund to the fire truck replacement reserve fund to replenish the reserve. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Councilor Delorier. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Whereas subsections 306 and 306.1 of the Municipal Act provide that a municipality may cancel or reduce taxes upon receipt of assessment alterations from the Manitoba Assessment Services. Therefore, be it resolved that the assessment alterations made by Manitoba Assessment Services on March 30, 2021 be made to the 2021 property and business tax rules with the resulting, with the resulting reductions totaling $180.49. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councilor Delorier. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Resolve the pursuits of sections 152 and 3 of the Municipal Act Council go into committee and close the meeting to the public to discuss budget, lot sale, uh, labor, and rise. Personnel. Personnel, yeah. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Deputy Mayor Montoni. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Uh, Chief Vidorchuk, you stay with us, and we are now on camera. Resolved the mayor be authorized to sign the land sale agreement for lots 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 15, 16, 36, 37, a block 3 plan 2554. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Deputy Mayor Tony, discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Resolved that the 2021 Swan Valley Regional Initiative for a Strong Economy levy in the amount of $47,329.55 be approved for payment once the audited financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2020 have been received. Moved by. Move to table this item until our next council meeting. Second. Uh, do we not have to bring it forward first and then it has to be tabled? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So I, I need someone to, to move it. I'll move it. One sec. Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Seconded by Councillor Delorier. And I will table it until the next council meeting. Okay. Seconded by. So Delorier, all in favor? Opposed? It's it's uh, tabled. Result of this regular meeting, council now be adjourned at 9.38 p.m. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councilor Delorier. Do you want to vote on the lapses? Yeah. Yeah. You're turning it to me. Again. <laughs> all in favor? We're adjourned. <laughs>